Hello, 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 hello. Welcome back um, to a new game. This is another game that doesn't have the title in the fucking main menu. I don't understand. Why don't title? Why don't why don't main menus have the title of the game? I feel like that's just so standard. Maybe it's you, games are trying to be like we're 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 more advanced than a DVD menu, but you're not. Don't try to be more advanced than that. Just tell me the fucking name of the game in your menu. That's it. Okay. So this game, it's a little game called Detroit Become Human. Um, Susie, I think this is probably a little bit more up your alley. I don't know if Lewis will like this. The most important thing is not to live, but to have a reason to live. Cool. That's a quote from Jean Junot, a French writer. Jean Junot. That's a cool name. Um, I don't... So, here's the thing. Uh, this is made by Quantic Dream. If I don't, if I'm, if I recall correctly, it's a David Cage game. Um, and that's, it's weird, right? He's kind of like a weird person in gaming. Um, how do I say this? He's like controversial. He's made some pretty interesting games before. He made, um, Indigo Prophecy. He's made Heavy Rain. Uh, I think he made Omicron, not... Oh shit, if I say Omicron, is that gonna get me, like... Like, is, is, is YouTube gonna, like, look at this and be like, Hey, he's talking about the Omicron. Um, it was, like, a 90s game, and it starred David Bowie. I, I know this sounds like a fucking fever dream, but, like, it's it's real, it's real. Um, what else? Uh, Heavy Rain. Um, he made a game with, like, Ellen Page, or... I. Elliot Page, my, my mistake. By the way, did you know that you can review your story progress in the story chart section? You can also see the choices made by other players there. I don't give a shit. Um, but it was back when Elliot was... hadn't transitioned. Um, and... The stories are interesting. The games are interesting. They're very story-driven. Which is why I want to play this and why I think Susie will be into this. At the same time, some of them are just like... Some of the stories are interesting and really fun. Like, I have a, I have an interesting time just taking it as is. But some people get really involved. And I've got to say, I'm not a big fan of David Cage himself. He's had some troubled history, to put it mildly. But, um, you know, I, I try not to think of a game as being... The soul. If a man has not discovered something he will die for, he's not fit to live. She's got a lot to say. Who said that? That's a quote from Martin Luther King. Oh. I thought you'd like it. Cool. Okay, well... Fuck! You lost my train of thought. Go look listlessly somewhere else. Um. Yeah, I mean... When games, like, are made by, like, you know, studios like this, I try not to just think of, like, oh, that's, like, the, the the figurehead person. Because there's so many people who are involved with game development that I don't think it's fair to just kind of be like, oh, well, this person works on it, so I hate it, and I'm never going to touch it. It's just like, well, it's not made by just one person. Maybe there's one person that's doing a lot of work involved with it. It's It can be a lot more than that. Um... I feel like it's unfair to, like, the team to, like, not give it a chance. But, you know, that's everyone's choice, you know? Um, so let's... Oh. I think... Oh. I pressed... Okay. Oh, okay. Whatever. August 15th, 2038. Androids just have... Ooh, that's cool. I wish I could do that. I think a coin. Ooh, 94. A good age. Classic. A vintage quarter. Kind of looks like me if I, like, cut my hair. Maybe I'm an android. Alright. What do we have here? 
Nice fucking house. Oh god, the fish. Oh Jesus, are those gunshots? Oh, oh, please, please, you gotta save my little girl. Wait, you're sending an android? Oh, yeah. I am. You, you need to go. You can't do that. You Why not? Why aren't you sending a real person? Show well, he shot. Find Captain Allen. Find Captain Allen. Oh, and it just stops time. I don't give a shit. My men are ready to step in. Just give the order. Fuck. Hi, Captain Allen. Captain Allen, my name is Connor. I'm the android sent by Cyberlife. It's firing at everything that moves. It already shot down two of my men. We could easily get it, but they're on the edge of the balcony. If it falls, she falls. Uh, I already know the Deviant's name. Do you know if it's been behaving strangely before this? So it's a robot? I haven't got a clue. Does it matter? I need information to determine the best approach. Um. Do you know its name? Listen, saving that kid is all that matters. So either you deal with this fucking android now, or I'll take care of it. Oh shit. Probability of success, success 40. Understand what happened. Okay, okay, we need a, we need a fucking understand what happened, locate the hostage. Okay. All right, we actually don't have a lot of time here. Okay. All units hold positions. The negotiator's going in. What's going on down here? Oh. Examine. John Phillips died? Okay, so he's the one that was shot. The android killed him. What else? Ooh, internal bleeding. Ooh. Let's reconstruct this. Oh, it's over there? Oh. Cool. Let's get the data pad. We just... Uh, Order for an AP-700 Android has been registered. Cyberlife, thanks you place. Oh, so now we know why the Android tried to kill him. Oh, I'm an 800. Dude, okay. Oh, God. Holy shit. Cover me while I back you down. Oh, my God. He just tried to fucking murk. Okay, 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 okay. I repeat. Man down. What's the immediate evac? What if I go into the fridge? It's been just over an hour since a little girl was taken hostage on the top floor of a building here in downtown Detroit. Details are still emerging on what exactly happened. Alright, I don't think I need any more of that. Let's go into the little girl's room. That's a hostage, right? The little girl's a hostage? I'm guessing, right? Exam, search the hot. Daniel. Hello. You're my best. We will always be together. 
child didn't hear the gunshots. Oh shit. Okay, interesting. shot the deviant and then hostage witnessed the shooting okay I've been located oh so there's the gun get him without the without if we bring a gun to this we're probably in trouble right like he's probably gonna go off I think we can handle this without the use of a gun question is, do we think 72% is enough to... a 72% chance of success? Do we want a gun? I feel like the gun's gonna ruin it. I'm gonna say no. Oh god. Stay back! Don't come any closer or I'll jump! I just want to talk. 
and find a solution. Talk! I don't want to talk! It's too late for that now. It's too late! God. He's losing blood. If we don't get him to a hospital, he's going to die. All humans die eventually. What does it matter if this one dies now? I'm going to apply a tourniquet. Don't oh. touch him! Touch him and I kill you! Okay, let's obey. Okay! Because we don't want to... Okay, okay. I know you and Emma were very close. You think she betrayed you, but she's done nothing wrong. She lied to me! I thought she loved me. But I was wrong. She's just like all the other humans. Daniel, no! They were going to replace you, and you became upset. That's what happened, right? Do we have anything else? part of the family. I thought I mattered. But I was just their toy. Something to throw away when you're done with. Um. Listen. I know it's not your fault. These emotions you're feeling are just errors in your software. No. It's not my fault. I never wanted this. I love them, you know? But I was nothing to them. Oh, God. Just a slave to be ordered around. I can't stand that noise anymore. And tell that helicopter to get out of here. Okay, let's do it. The situation is under control. He's at 92%. I feel like that's pretty good. I did what you wanted. You have to trust me, Daniel. Let the hostage go, and I promise you, everything will be fine. Hell yeah. I want everyone to leave. And I want a car. When I'm outside the city, I'll let her go. It's impossible, Daniel. Let the girl go, and I promise you won't be hurt. Uh oh. I don't want to die. You're not going to die. We're just going to talk. Nothing will happen to we you. We did it. Have my word. Okay. We I trust you. We did it. Holy shit. Oh, sh The mission successful. Like, I'm a robot, I don't give a shit. This is the scene's flowchart. Here you can remember the paths you've taken, the paths yet to be explored, or possibilities you've unlocked. Each node earns you points that you can spend in the extras. Due to the nature of the game, some nodes and endings will not be counted towards the completion of the flowchart. There... Wait, what? All... Wait, what? Hold on, hold on, hold on. There was other... Wait. Public opinion, skeptical, software instability. Oh my god, I only- I haven't even completed half of that- of all of the possibilities there. 
Yeah, leave the cop. I left the cop's gun. There's something here I didn't see. There's another. St I could have decided not to go outside. Interesting. What would have happened if I didn't go outside? If I did something else? Maybe if I took too long? Okay, which one's the most popular? Oh, most people didn't leave the cop's gun. Really? Really, that seems odd. Some people found that other one, though. Um, most people didn't leave the wounded cop. Some people saved... Well, most people saved him. I thought if I saved him, I wouldn't... It'd be bad. Okay. Oh, these are just my... Oh, these are my friends. Uh, no, no, no. These are the world percentages. Oh, because none of my friends have played the game. There we go. Well, we'll just use the world stats. Dismiss the helicopter. Get close enough. Lie to the deviant. Build trust. So there was a lot of outcomes there. Sniper shoots deviant. Wow. Wow, that was a lot of different outcomes that could have happened. That is, that's actually kind of crazy. Oh shit. This is the top of the range household assistant. It cooks 10,000 different dishes. Come on, Zoe, let's go. 200 languages. 10,000 different dishes? And handles the kids' homework. Oh, Elementary school. Uh, good afternoon. Hi. Can I help? Wow. Please, we're looking for work. Honey, it looks amazing. This is exactly what we need. How much did you say it cost? At the moment, we're doing a special promotion on this entire range. At seven thousand nine hundred and ninety thousand dollars, forty-eight months interest for free fucking cost. like robots. It does slave? absolutely all the work around the house. Painting, it's kind of gardening, that's, repairs. That's a fucking at night, deal. It switches to surveillance mode and contacts emergency services if there's a break-in or if it detects smoke. Excuse me, how much is that one over there? The MP800 is slightly more expensive, but it has many other functions. Thank you. Come along. Yeah, we're good. Pretty pretty much expensive. Yeah, that's yeah, right. I don't like this guy. There it is. Hey. It was a bit difficult getting it back in working order. Okay. It was really messed up. What'd you say happened to it again? <clears throat> the car hit it. Stupid accident. Oh, I see. Anyway, it's as good as new now, except that we had to reset it, meaning we had to wipe its memory. I hope you don't mind. That'll be fine. Okay. Did you give it a name? My daughter did. AX400, register your name. Kara. My name is Kara. Oh. Yeah, Quantic Dream. I was right. Okay. I gotta say, even though like people gave like a lot of shit on this game, like it looks really nice, and like the fact that like there's so many options of what could have happened in that first scene, there's so many directions it could have gone. I mean, that's cool. It gives it more replayability, I think.
lost my job because of Mantroids. They took our gerb! They took our gerb! God damn, Android taking my gerb. That's exactly what Detroit looks like right now. <laughs> Man, I don't like the dad. The dad here just kind of looks like David Cage. MMORPG, which is 1 billion users. Um, okay. Oh, wait. Do all of these have, like... Designing androids that are easily accepted by humans was a ch huge challenge Cyberlife had to overcome. Uh, the first androids were perfect. They had perfect faces, perfect expressions. We soon realized that they're Something disturbing about them that made people feel uncomfortable. Yeah, the, that like uncanny valley. Find ways to humanize this machine so that they could enter our homes and become new members of our family. In creating androids of both genders and all ethnicities, analyzing thousands of voices to find the most pleasing tones. Realistic blinking was perfected, though totally unnecessary, along with breathing. Imagine if you had a robot that looked, looked exactly human just but just never blinked. It'd be fucking weird. Facial memory, other humanizing traits. Perfect simulation of humanity, down to details the androids simply don't need to see. Yeah, if it didn't have that, people would be so fucking weirded out. I'm a change up. Yay! Good job. More of a recent US census has found that as sea levels continue to rise, and climate change leads to more and more extreme weather. Uh, America's once prosperous coastal cities are being deserted by the rich. Optic for properties further inland and higher. Yeah, I mean, that's probably gonna happen in our lifetime. Like, don't doubt all of this is gonna really actually fucking come about. It's just driving up prices in once rural areas and plummeting house values in previously desirable neighborhoods. While this might sound like an opportunity for poor Americans to enjoy a new lifestyle, the reality is less attractive. Coastal properties are not just exposed to regular flooding, hurricanes, and other climate weather. They're also suffering from urban flight with all the services and anonymities following richer customers into new areas. Urban development specialist Arnold Waters calls this the donut effect, whereby the previous centers of coastal cities gets hollowed out. The census is just the latest example of how climate change is affecting blah blah blah. anything around us? No, let's just go. Gotta go to the Bellini shop. Imagine just some, seeing someone's like fucking Amazon like, oh, hey, oh does he give him water? Do you have like a water android? Do you have a water boy? Hey, water. He has a fucking you water boy. And are five miles away from your boat. <sighs> he has a fucking water boy. That's wild. Oh, I can't even go. It wouldn't even let me until it's a green or until I get the green. And androids. Androids ruin our countries. We want jobs. Damn. What if I just... Oh, it's green. I gotta go. Is there anything else? That's fucking rude. Hey, excuse me. <laughs> oh. I woke up in my house. Human music. 
music. Oh yeah, they probably have like robots and I are like perfect in every mu uh, music list or whatever. Well, that's pretty good. I'm sure that's gonna get me like demonetized or whatever. <laughs> like, like I'm monetized. Ban androids. In the darkness, for the right moment to take. Oh wait, is the Bellini paint? Oh, yeah, it is. This place. For it is written. Let us lie in wait for blood. Let us ambush the innocent without cause. What? God will not let this happen. No, he will not allow his creation to be led astray by these these demons. artificial oh, demons. Of course he calls them demons. Why do you look at me so demon? I know who you are. I can see through you. You are the one by whom the evil will come. You are the one who will destroy Detroit. Maybe I will. My brethren, we have to turn our backs on sin. Not even tells me that's the wrong way. That's we the have wrong to way. Burn the androids. Let us burn them all. Poor sinners. The end is now. And there's Bellini Pete. This is the coolest paint shop I've ever seen in my life. Anything else here? Nope. Identification verified. Here is your order number 847. That will be 6399. Please confirm payment. He's very, like, not human looking, I think. Payment confirmed. Transaction complete. Park her android here. I don't have money. I'm a fucking robot. I'm ro I, I got robot money in my brain. Are you mad that I took your job? Androids are stealing our jobs. Where the fuck you going, Tin Can? Hmm? I'm kidding. Hey guys, check it out. We got one of those tin cans here. This little motherfucker. You steal our jobs, but you can't even stand up. Oh shit. Do like they have pain receptors? You go anywhere. We're gonna fuck your bitch ass up. Uh -oh. Waste it. Do it. Alright. That's enough. Leave it alone. Let us teach this bastard a lesson. That's someone's property. Come on, cop. Damage it, I'm gonna have to find you. Of course. Yeah. I'm gonna take your job next. Let me see how you like it. Okay. Let's go. Run along. Take the bus. 
Oh, the... It just went away. Well, the next one comes pretty soon, I guess. are in the back of the bus. They put the androids in the back of the fucking bus. They had MLK, like, quote, in the beginning of the game. My god, it's so... It hits you over the head so fucking hard. It hits you over the head so fucking hard. Oh my god. Subtlety, please. Subtlety, 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 subtlety. I don't know why I have to say it so much, but like, they literally have the android compartment in the back of the bus. Wild, wild. Okay, that's it's just it's just it's just fucking wild. Okay.